Hello, my name's Ian and um, I want to tell you about a time when Jesus transformed my life through very ordinary circumstances. Um, I reckon I started going to church when I was about eight or nine, I think, and uh, around 16-ish I gave my life to Jesus, committed to follow him, didn't really understand what it meant but I knew I needed him. Uh, but by the time I got to uni I was getting drunk, I was lying, uh, using pornography and smoking silly things and that just got worse at university. But I was having a great time. Um, I still claim to be a Christian uh, and I loved having theological debates and imagining that I'd won them <laughs> but I didn't want to deny myself and obey Christ. Um, I was having too much fun. To, to paraphrase C.S. Lewis a bit, I was a half-hearted creature fooling around with porn, drugs and drink when infinite joy was on offer. Like an ignorant child who wants to go on making mud pies in a slum because he can't imagine what's meant by the offer of a holiday at the sea. That was me. But throughout my final year at uni, I met up with a bloke from Christchurch Forward. So I was at Sheffield Uni. Uh, he was patience personified. He put up with all of my idiocy, answered my questions and tried to help. Towards the end of my final year, he invited me round to his house for a meal. And uh, I went, hi. Some of you have heard this story before. No one mentioned it as far as I remember, though it's a bit hazy. Uh, they were all kind and pleasant and then I went home. Ordinary. It struck me though that evening that I'd just trampled all over his hospitality and kindness and thrown it back in his face. And then it struck me that actually for the last three years I'd been trampling on Jesus's hospitality and kindness and throwing them back in his face. And that was when things began to change. That was when God began to soften my heart to think about other people to remember that I wasn't the centre of the universe uh, and to want to serve instead of grasping stuff for myself. And obviously things went on from there because I'm here now um, and I'm running out. I've already gone over two minutes. But I just wanted to tell you this because at ground level, it looked like the ki just a kind Christian man inviting someone round for tea and showing him some friendship. That's all it was. But from God's view, he was starting to strip away years of hypocrisy and sinfulness and he was starting to give me just a little bit of humility <laughs> and I am grateful that God didn't give up on me when I gave up on him that's because he promises never to let his people go no matter how stupid they are God swears on himself that he will bring us home and I discovered that often the way he does that is through completely ordinary small acts of kindness from the church if we are faithless he remains faithful because he cannot disown himself. I've never loved a Bible verse more. <laughs>